I remember about 24 years ago, I became a bishop 25 years ago now, about 26 years. I wanted to buy a house in New York. I contacted a real estate person, a friend of mine, <coughs> to find a house for me. A week later, he called back and said, Bishop, I found a house which I guess you would like. I will give you the address of the house. Go and look for it. Check out everything. And if you like it, I will buy it for you. So I was walking on the streets of New York to locate that house, not New York City, I'm talking about New York State. I was walking on the sidewalk with a red robe and this hat. A boy who was four years old was playing on the sidewalk. When I approached him, he looked up he screamed <laughs> and he ran, <laughs> went to his house, he said, Mommy, something is coming. <laughs> and the mother asked, what is it? He answered and said, I don't know, I haven't seen anything like this before. <laughs> So the mother came and he was scared. He never saw a red robe and uh, this kind of hat. <coughs> so the mother came out and looked at me. She hasn't seen anything like this before. But she talked to me and I explained who I was. So she went to the house and said, Mike, that was his name. Mike, that's a bishop. If you go and talk to him, he will be able to tell you stories, so why don't you go to him? So the next day Mike came to me, knocked at my door. I opened the door and uh, I saw Mike standing there. He said, my mommy said that you are a bishop. What is a bishop? It was hard to explain what a bishop was to a four-year-old. It's difficult these days to explain to adults too. <laughs> but I tried to explain. <coughs> then he said, can you go out and play with me? I said I would. He has a small tennis ball. So we went out to the park and we played for 10 minutes, came back. <coughs> It happened every evening. Mike came to me to play. Went on for some time. Then in September, he went to school for the first time. The first day he came back to me and he was so excited. He said, Bishop, I went to school. Then I asked him some questions, whether he liked the teachers. He said, yes. Do you like your friends? Yes. Do you like the school? Yes. Did you learn something new? Yes. He was all happy. Oh, he came to me every evening to explain what was happening in the school. One evening he came and said, Bishop, I have a problem. What is the problem? The problem is the school gave me five chocolate bars. I said, what is the problem in that? <laughs> well, the school wants me to sell them and make money for the school. I said, what is the problem there? Well, the problem is, I don't know anyone else. Can you buy all the five chocolate bars? <laughs> <laughs> I said, how much is one? Five dollars. So altogether twenty-five dollars. So I said I would buy and I went in. And there was a telephone call. I attended that. 
So it took five, six, seven minutes for me to come out with the money. And when I came out, guess what I was seeing? Mike was busy eating the chocolate. And there were only two left. <laughs> so I asked Mike, Mike, where are the, le the rest of... Oh, I ate them. How many are left? Two. Okay, I'll buy the two. How much should I pay? Twenty-five dollars. <laughs> so I gave him twenty-five dollars and bought those two. Next week he came to me and asked, Bishop, is there anything left over from those two? <laughs> So I gave them back the two. <laughs> and he ate those two too. <laughs> then in October, he came to me again and said, Bishop, I have a problem. Mike always came with a problem. I said, what is the problem? Well, tomorrow is Halloween night. I said, what is the problem with Halloween night? Well, can I borrow this cap? <laughs> For the Halloween night. I said, why do you want this cap? And uh, what he said, I will never forget. This is the funniest hat I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to explain, uh, it's just a religious thing, you cannot play with it. He didn't say anything, he left. Then later on, he came to me and said, Bishop, I, I have a problem. I said, what is the problem? I heard that your birthday is coming. I said, what is the problem with that? Well, the problem is, I would like to give you a gift. I said, what is the problem with that? Well, I don't have any money to buy the gift. <laughs> Can I borrow some money from you? <laughs> I, said, I said, no. Uh, then how can I give you a gift? It was hard, hard to tell him that he should not give a gift. So I told him that I will go to the store and find something for him, give it to him, and then he can wrap it up and bring it back to me. Oh, he agreed. He was very happy. So I went to the store, found a small cross. I bought it, and Mike came that evening. I gave it to Mike. And Mike was happy. He took it back to his mother and said, Mother, I would like you to wrap it up. I said, What is this? It's a cross. What is this for? As a gift for the bishop, his birthday. Where did you get it from? Uh, that's a surprise, I can't tell you. <laughs> so the mother wrapped this gift beautiful wrapping paper and attached a card to it and Mike brought it next day to me. I looked at it, I knew what it was and I asked Mike what it was. Oh, that's a birthday gift for you. I said, what is in it? Oh, I won't tell you, that's a surprise. <laughs> So I opened it, I found the cross which I bought the day before <laughs> and I pretended that I was surprised. Mike was very happy. <coughs> I said this because this is what in essence Christian spirituality is. Mike was not able to buy a gift to give it to me. So I bought the gift and gave it to him, and the mother wrapped it up and returned it to me. Friends, the father said, Children, 
you cannot buy a suitable gift for me. You cannot offer anything suitable to me. Therefore, I will give you a gift, my son. And it was the mother who wrapped him up, gave it to the whole world and said, here is father's gift. You offer him back to him. Every Sunday we offer him back on the water. Father, we cannot give anything other than this to you. It is a gift you gave us. We are offering it back. So every time we pray, we say, in the name of Jesus. Every time we say the Holy Kurbana, we are offering him on the altar. Father, take this offering. We don't have anything else to give. Jesus, Lord. This is the gift you gave me. We are offering back. Yes. Friends, that is what spirituality is all about. It's nothing else, nothing more, nothing else. So the essence of spirituality is when on Sunday you offer him on that altar and say, receive our offering which is so precious because you gave it to us. Otherwise we will not, it won't be precious if it was offered by us. Yes. You offered it first to us yeah. and we are offering this gift. Friends, that is what spirituality is all about. That is what I would call Christian spirituality and that is what we emphasize in the East. Often projected more than sometimes in the West. So this spirituality is the one which we have to bring to our families to become a worshipping family to become a church, a family church, which will be offering Him every Sunday, every morning, every evening, every day. And then we all come together to offer Him to the Father on Sundays. This is my introduction to that spirituality. And if you have anything you would like to say or ask, this is the time I would like you to do that. How much is that? You may add anything to it if you like to. <laughs>